Hey YouTube, greetings and salutations. Thanks for taking the time out of your day to, you know, visit my channel and hear what I have to say. It means a lot. Um, currently I'm doing these videos on a really <laughs> old raggedy laptop with a crap camera, but hopefully uh, in the near future I'll have a little bit better camera at least. Um, today I want to cover the basics of uh, no contact orders and uh, basic protective orders issued by courts. Um, First thing we're going to deal with is the no contact orders. Um, it's a lot less complex. Uh, people have to realize first off, they are two completely different things. One is for a set amount of finite time um, based on uh, criminal activity. Like example, um, let's say you burglarize someone's home. They're going to give you a no contact order for that premises, for that person, for their family, for their the people that live with them, if they're not family members, so on and so forth, so that, you know, you have no contact with the victims in those cases, uh, rapes, um, assaults, uh, anything like that, the victim in that case, you know, anywhere, anytime there's a victim like that, most of the time you're going to get a no contact order with that person. There's just, they just do that. That way it leads to, uh, they can charge you with a simple misdemeanor for violating it. And that can carry up to 30 days in jail. Um, you know, the minimum is seven. So, you know, at the very least, if you call that person that you've got a no contact order with, you're going to jail. It's a mandatory arrest. If the police know you violated the no contact order, you are going to jail. Period. They have to arrest you. Even if they don't want to, even if they think it's dumb, they're going to arrest you. They have to. They're bound by the code to do it. Uh... Also with those, you can't have other people call or write letters or stop by their house or harass them in any way. Uh, doing so is a third-party violation of those orders and punishable by the same thing. You will go to jail, period. I don't care who you are because there is no fine in lieu of jail time on these charges. If you get a violation of a no-contact order or of a protective order, you will be going to jail and you will get probably the fine and court costs and everything associated with it. Because uh, it's mandatory that you get at least seven days in jail. And, you know, the fine isn't mandatory, but let's be realistic. The state is the state. You're going to get the fine, too. Um, protective orders, you know, are, are a little bit different. Um, they're usually accompanied by another order. Like, uh, usually in domestic assaults, um, you'll get another order. Like, let's say a man beats his wife. He goes to jail. They arrest him. He's going to get a no contact order for her and he's going to get or a protective order for her and the kids and whatever, however the scenario goes. And he'll get an order to vacate the premises. Um, he will have to leave the homestead and, you know, find somewhere else to live for the duration of that order. Um, it could be anywhere from 72 hours to forever, literally forever, permanent. Um, permanent ones don't happen a lot. Uh, but they do happen. Um, but yeah, a violation of either one will, uh, definitely get you thrown in jail. Um, I'm just looking down at some of my notes here cause I don't usually, uh, I deal a lot more with family case law, um, protecting families from, uh, getting taken by CPS or you know, in Iowa, we have DHS social workers, Department of Human Services social workers that uh, they like to kidnap kids for profit. But that's a whole bunch of other videos that I'll be covering later. <laughs> and I will show you how to get out of those because with, um, it's very important that people really just need to learn their most basic civil rights. Learn the Constitution, people. Learn your Bill of Rights. They will help you in any court case. Whether it's a civil case, a criminal case, a federal case, any kind of a case. You may hear random whistling in the background. It's because I've got a, a red-tailed African gray parrot. And she thinks when I talk a little bit loud that she's got to chime in too. So um, if you hear anything random in the background, that's just my crazy bird, Sammy. So uh, don't think anything of the random whistling or random talking. That you hear in the background. Um, yeah, I mean, and, and they usually come from, uh, you know, there, there has to be a crime committed normally in order to get one of these. 
you can also get them if you can prove somebody stalking you, harassing you, bullying you, um, dependent on how that works out. Like, let's say you frequent, um, I don't know, a local bar, and there's a regular at that bar that just treats you like shit. He assaults you, they throw drinks on you, whatever the case may be. Eventually, that person, you know, you can bring charges against that person if they have malicious intent. But again, that's a whole nother line of, <laughs> of videos that would have to come out to explain all of that. But in the end, you really just got to, you know, if you if you find yourself on the end of one of these, just honor the order. Because I've seen so many people ignore these orders and end up doing ridiculous jail time simply because they couldn't stop calling somebody or stop writing them letters and harassing them and bugging them and any of that. And if you do it at the wrong times and you do it with the wrong people, they'll get you for witness tampering. And you don't you don't want that. That's a felony. That's a five year prison sentence if they can prove it. And it ain't hard to prove it with today's, you know, technology. They can tell everybody you've ever texted, anybody you've ever sent a picture to, everything. They can, they can find that shit out. It ain't hard. Hell, if you've got AT&T or Sprint or any of them, everything you do is saved on a server. They can access it. All they need is a court order. And it ain't hard to get one of those nowadays, neither. So, you know, just protect yourselves. Don't, uh... Just don't do anything stupid and you don't have to find yourself on the end of one of these things. Um, you know, if you're a person that's in a bad relationship, leave. Don't sit there and get beat on. Don't put up with the bullshit. Just fucking leave. Life's too short. With that, take it easy, America. Till next time. Peace.